Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. Today I get to unbox my new Traxxas TRX4. It's the 2021 Bronco in bright blue and I really can't wait to see this thing so we're just going to get it out of the box. All right, guys, there it is, the Traxxas TRX4 2021 Bronco. Now, this thing looks insane. That Velocity Blue with the black roof looks really, really cool. The fact that you don't have the body pins or anything like that on it really, again, just makes this truck look that much better. And it's funny, I even though I have my Rift, my axial Rift is not technically a trail vehicle that's what I bought and built it for so I always knew I wanted to have another more scale looking rig beside it when we hit the trails with my son and when I saw the 2021 the yellow ish orange and the red Bronco when that came out I was interested in the red one and for some reason I just kind of held off and then finally I was like hey you know what I think I'm gonna get the red one and then all of a sudden I saw the new colors and I saw this blue and I thought you know what I've got to have it now I'm not going to go into a ton of details because most of you guys know, if not everybody watching this video knows what a TRX4 is. This is the TRX4. It is not a TRX4 Sport. So this does have the high-low transmission. It does have the front and rear locking diffs. Uh, you get the TQI radio. So all those controls are done on the fly. You have cruise control. This, guys, looks insane. And I can't wait to get it out on the trails. I'm probably going to take it out of my yard in this video just to see it driving around. Just because I want to see how it looks. Um, I've already taken it outside just so I could see how the blue looked. And it looked amazing. And I'm very, very happy, guys. This was kind of a sort of a birthday gift-ish from my wife. I uh, I had a little bit of money kind of sitting around. I was saving up and she saw it up on the screen. She's like, oh, what's that? And I kind of told her. And she was like, wow, you know, your birthday's coming up. And I was like, oh, yeah, my birthday is coming up. So here it is. Again, guys, the 2021 Bronco, the TRX4, very, very happy. What I am going to do now, though, is I will get the body off. And for anybody that hasn't seen one before, even though I doubt there's very many of you out there, I will get the body off so you guys can just take a look. I'm going to show you how you remove the body. And I've watched this in many videos. And for some reason in the videos, it always looked more complicated than it actually is. All right, so there are those kind of finger clips underneath the body that you have to push-pull. I always, for some reason, thought that it was going to be something complicated to do, but you can put your fingers under and you just got to pull a little bit. So you're not even trying to push. You're not even trying to push tabs in. You just have to pull them. Same on the rear. And just like that, the body comes off. Very, very cool. I'll bring you guys in. You guys can see. This is it right here. So when you're putting your finger in, you just boop. So you can literally just grab these two, pull out, go to the rear, pull those two, and off the body comes. Something else I also want to add to that is that, okay, this is plastic. So every time you do this, every time you push these in, it is going to wear. But this bar where these the tabs are is a separate piece, which means if these do ever break or do ever wear out, you're not buying a whole bunch of cage pieces. Hopefully, Traxxas will sell just this individual piece and not make you buy the whole cage. So I probably should have looked into that first before I just made that comment. But if anybody from Traxxas is watching this video, I really hope that you are selling these pieces separate. Because again, being that this is just plastic, you're pushing it in. Obviously, there's only this is only going to go so many times. Hopefully that again, they sell that piece. Now, just like with all the other TRX4s, excluding the Sport, you have the front steering servo, 
your motor, your ESC, but then you have your three little servos. Over here, these two little guys do your front and rear locking diffs, and this one does your high-low transmission. And all you've got to do, you got your rocker switch right there. That is that servo right there, and again, that's for your high-low. And then if I bring you guys around to this side, over here on the top, you got this switch right here. That does your front diff. And now you've got both locked. Again, I think guys, that's really, really cool because if you're out on the trail and you're just doing some fun trail driving, you know, you're not trying to do any hardcore rock crawling. It's really nice to be able to open your diffs. You get your turning radius back, all that kind of fun stuff. So I've always kind of liked it for that. Sometimes I have said, you know, like, oh, if you're building a crawler or a trail truck, just do the locking diffs. But when you do have that option available to you and you're able to get out there and you can drive with them unlocked, it does make your actual driving experience a little bit more fun. Now, I am running, I should mention, guys, I'm going to show you. I've got a couple of different batteries that I will be running in this truck right now. I've got this little guy, which is a Gen's Ace 4300 milliamp 3S 50C pack. But I also have a few of these guys right here. These are the Adventure Series, same as the uh, 3S, except this is a 2S 100C discharge rate 5,000 pack. So again, loads of power, loads of runtime. This 4300, I bet you guys will probably get me over an hour of runtime, uh, especially in a little truck like this. Now, saying that, in the past, I have often changed my steering servos. And the BEC in the XL5HV is not all that good. I can't remember, guys, right now offhand what it is, like one amp or two amp or something like that. It's not very good. Now, Traxxas does sell a separate BEC combo. But for the price of that, you could almost buy, and it's like a couple of dollars difference, guys, the Hobby Wing, I think it is the 1080, which has a really good BEC in it. So that's probably the route I'll take. And I've always figured out the wiring and stuff like that. So if I still want to run a light kit and all that kind of stuff, uh, I am able to. This is the kit that I'm using in this truck. It wasn't cheap, but it's a, it's a really cool kit, guys. You have your normal daytime kind of running lights. So you have the halos. But then you have your low beams and your high beams, your reverse lights, brake lights, turn signals. Not, you know, not that you'll be using turn signals and trails, but I still think it's really, really cool. It was funny, actually. Uh, I think it was Ready Set RC. He was showing a truck that he had got and had the turn signals in it. And we were kind of commenting on that, that, you know, to have turn signals in a, you know, trail truck doesn't really make a lot of sense. But in my opinion, I still think it's kind of cool. So I'm glad they included it. And it'll look cool when I'm out there driving around. All right, guys, there's not much more I want to show you underneath the body. You have the same old Titan 21 turn 550 motor. It does a pretty good job. It works well with the low and high gears. You've got low end torque. You've got a little bit of top speed if you wanted to go zooming up and down the trails. It works. Uh, stock steering servo, waterproof, uh, metal geared. That's about it. It is fairly slow. It doesn't have a ton of torque or anything like that. I will be replacing it at some point. I do have a Traxxas 400. Um somewhere and that does require though again either an external BEC or an ESC with a better BEC in it so that'll be something I have to kind of figure out what I'm going to do I'll probably be dropping in one of those hobby wing 1080s because it just seems to make everything a lot easier but what I want to do now is show you guys what you got to do to put the body back on because I already mentioned that taking the body off was very easy and to get the body back on you simply just got to kind of line it up and that's it the body is back on i don't know if you guys will be able to see in there you can kind of see the tab but it is on there really really like that it definitely makes for such a clean look and i think that this blue body just kind of makes it look that much cleaner it i don't know i i'm i'm very when I got this out of the box, guys, I got it out and I removed the film and then I just kind of stood there for a bit and looked at it and thought, wow, this looks really, really good and it's very, very sharp and it's definitely going to look cool ripping up and down the tracks. One thing I really liked that they did with this truck was instead of having the windshield stickers that were on like the Defender and all that stuff, they've gone with just a tint look. And the reason I like that so much is, is that I'm not one of those guys that's going to be doing an interior. I'm not that hardcore. But I always, I don't like those windshield stickers. But then I also, I don't like when they do like a clear look 
just because then you actually see inside and you see the battery and you see everything, which I don't like that either. So I really, really like this tint look. It really, really matches the black roof as well. All right, guys, so my plan was to get this truck and give it a quick run in this video, even if it was in front of my house, except we are having a bit of a disaster day today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is freezing rain out there right now and everything is ice. It is so shiny when I look out my front window, it's crazy. So what I'm gonna do now is actually just end the video. Again, like I mentioned earlier on guys, I didn't wanna spend a bunch of time going over everything on this truck. You guys know what a TRX4 is, you know it has portal axles, all that kind of fun stuff. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna throw up some pics and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, please subscribe, hit the notifications bell and enjoy the pics. <laughs>